Hi guys! So this week I've got a video that I've been meaning to do for ages and it's been requested a few times and I've literally been wanting to do this since I finished Photography GCSE um, and I know I showed a few of my books in a few vlogs last year and stuff but I've wanted to do a proper talk through of them all since I finished so I'm finally doing it today. I went to get my books back from school a few weeks ago but I thought I'd do it this week and actually film it. And hopefully this might help some of you who are doing GCSE photography or A-level photography. But yeah, if you're wondering, I did get a 9 in my GCSE in the end, so obviously I was really, really happy with that. Hopefully you can get some inspiration from this or just some ideas about how to display your work or just how to write about it and stuff like that. And yeah, hopefully you find this helpful. Okay, so this is my first book and this is actually my least favourite one because obviously we'd only just started it and we were basically just learning all the techniques and stuff at this point but the first topic we did was texture and this was kind of just getting to grips with how to use the camera and how to set out your work and stuff so I actually hate all these pictures and um, but basically we just went round school and took pictures this was literally our first lesson so these pictures are awful it does improve and I wasn't this bad at photography for the whole year basically I just write about all the different elements of photography so contrast um like what actual type of textures it was for these ones and then I think on some of them I wrote about what settings I used on the camera and that sort of thing and then the next topic was quite similar but we did it with line instead um, I quite like this page to be honest um, I decided to take all these ones in black and white I might have been told to do this actually don't know if I actually decided oh yeah these are the inspiration pictures that we got given so these ones aren't mine but this is the photo shoot we did and then we had to write about the four favourites so yeah again we just like went around the classroom went around the school to take pictures of these and then the next one, also similar, is Shape, and again I did that in black and white. And I actually really like some of these photos, I think they're really interesting. Um, and I think I kind of started to improve, although I hardly took any pictures for this photo shoot, don't really know why. Just wrote about why I liked them, why I thought they were successful, and the mostly in these ones I think I talk about the contrast, um, and just what the different shapes are, and like how I captured the pictures. And then we did colour, which is again quite similar. I actually quite like this photo shoot, although I think all the pictures are quite similar. Like, all the pictures are quite a similar composition because I just collected them all and put them on a white piece of paper. And pretty sure we had to do that to show it was like a different way of composing pictures. And to be honest, at the start um, of the project, I think my writing wasn't that good. Although, like, I still wrote quite a lot, but I think I was just a bit too deep about it and tried to come up with like symbolism for everything when it's just not needed um so yeah if you do want to pause it and read it like maybe don't take note of this type of writing maybe take note of like the later ones but then again i don't even know like my teachers didn't tell me this was wrong so i think either way will probably be right and then the next photo shoot we did was contrast um i actually really like this photo shoot i like the second one better um but basically the first one i did was like close-up things so again it was just going around school these were artist images these were the first ones again I think these are quite similar to the line or shape photo shoots um but I really like these ones that are like shadows I don't know why I added this I think I'd already started the next page so I added it in the middle which you weren't supposed to do my teachers told me off for that but. so the second photo shoot I decided I wanted to take inspiration from this picture a bit more so that it was far away images rather than like close-up individual things so here I just took pictures in black and white of the like corridors and stuff in school and these were my best photos and then again I just explained them why I liked them and then we did emphasis I kind of hated this photo shoot um just because the photos actually turned out really bad and I had a really good idea for the actual like what I wanted to do which was my plan here but then the actual photo shoot turned out really bad so basically this is the first photo shoot that we actually planned properly and we had to come up with a proper idea ourselves and we got more inspiration from artists like for the other ones it was kind of just learning how to use the camera still I took ideas from these two artists we had to focus on objects or how to create emphasis on something that is personal to us so I think I just decided to do it like orange because orange is my favorite color um oh hang on it's here I still have an image to show my personality as being outgoing and happy um so I wanted the pr predominant colors to be orange and yellow and then I just made a list of all the objects that I wanted to use and this was basically my first proper plan that I'd done and then I drew some uh, sketches of how I wanted to show it the, I kind of hate the photos in these because the lighting was just awful and I didn't even follow my plan on like my favourite pictures um, but I made a box 
out of just paper um, which kind of turned out bad and then I splashed it with the orange paint and then as you can see I just put like the all the orange things and all the objects that I'd created not created all the objects I brought with me in it but the lighting was really bad so then I just took these and I just didn't like I don't even know why I didn't carry on I was just too lazy to actually try and get a good picture out of it so then I just did this photo shoot um, as an extra little thing where I just did it looking from above like a still life from above and then here I just explained what was good and also what was bad about them that's another thing if you're saying why they're successful also say like what you could improve on it okay this is just I don't even know why that's there to be honest because that has nothing to do with emphasis that was my previous like five photo shoots or four photo shoots so this is when we first started experimenting with photoshop so i actually quite like these i especially like this page when it's just like really random things um so these ones we just layered two images on top of each other i was really bad at photoshop by the way at the start of the year i kind of improved but i kind of hated it for the whole thing um so yeah these are my first like four uses of photoshop so i just laid two things on top of each other and basically just to show like the contrasting lines and patterns i think and then these ones i did a little bit extra too and i like cut out this section um but then still like faded this on top of it and changed the opacity and then i just explained what i did in this and why it was successful as always and then these ones i use the magic wand tool i think it's called just to on like random pictures from the previous photo shoots just to see what sort of shapes and images I could get and then I just collaged them all together just did a whole page of my favorite ones oh I don't even remember I think this was just an extra one that I did myself maybe um when everyone else had finished or like if we had time we did this or something um so this is an architecture one then we actually ended up doing a um, big architecture project in my second book which is a lot better than this so this was kind of just like a little quick thing that I did so these were my artists inspiration pictures that I got and I think I just found these on Pinterest Pinterest is the best place by the way to get artist pictures um, and then I went round my town just around my house and took pictures on my own because I didn't really want to do it in school um, I actually remember this day I went, like, went after school and I was like wow I'm so cool walking around town with a camera and then I just used photo. oh wait these are my best oh these are my best four I actually do really like these pictures I really like that one and then I used photoshop to kind of take in I took inspiration from mostly that one but then I kind of didn't have enough pictures to make it good okay then we did another still life I really hated the still life ones and I remember for this like I didn't even have an idea this was kind of just stupid I didn't have any inspiration um and then I forgot to bring a glass in so I just used a water bottle but to be fair the lighting on this is really cool and I love how I shined the light like through the water and through the forks because they were plastic forks and um, I just used my phone torch for this most of the time we just used phone torches um because they work fine as you can see I planned it and said what objects I was going to use and this is my actual photo shoot also most of the time I did the plans after I actually did the photo shoot which you definitely weren't supposed to do okay and then these were my best images as always I just wrote about which one's my favorite um I actually do really like how the forks looked on this I just think the water bottle looked a bit stupid and it would have been so much better if I used an actual glass of water which I was planning on doing but again I think the lighting is quite good because we used a black box but I just think the lighting is quite good because the whole background is fully black okay and then this was my project with my other teacher so we were actually doing two projects at the same time but I kind of i don't even know if i enjoyed this like it was quite fun because it was just a bit different but then i don't actually think my outcomes were that good we used a painting so this was a painting from 1668 and then we took inspiration from this photographer who had recreated that painting but then we had to recreate the painting and the photograph again in our own way and um, so here i think i just wrote similarities and differences between the two yeah what I keep the same, what I could transform, and what is the look of my shoe. Oh, I came up with a story behind it. If you want to pause that, read it. It's not actually that interesting. And this was just like my really quick sketch of what I wanted to do. Um, the lighting in this is kind of bad, but I think I just pretended that I wanted it to be like that. Um, but basically, I had my model wear a yellow hoodie and that like linked to the original artist. Just took the pictures in a classroom and like put loads of books and stuff out like so it's really chaotic and these were kind of bad pictures because I just think I could have definitely spent a lot more time on like setting it up and making it actually look better I actually quite like how I set out this page because I didn't just do like the best four I think that was probably because they were all kind of bad oh then apparently I photoshopped it which I didn't know I did 
I don't even know, I don't even know what the difference is. I chose to do subtle changes, okay, that basically means my Photoshop didn't go well, so I just pretended I did it. I think I basically just brightened up the images. Oh, and here I made it black and white in the background. Okay, and then this was the same project, but with a different image. So this was the painting I chose, um, and it was basically just a girl reading a letter. They basically just talked about like the facial expressions, where I was going to do it in front of a window, and then the lighting and background and stuff that I wanted to do. And then I also got inspiration from this, which was through a window, and it was just like the rain on the window. So on this one, I wanted it to be a sad kind of vibe and then this was my first photo shoot I also experimented with white balance in this so it was I changed it so it looks a bit more blue and then obviously I did some black and white and then some just normal and I'm pretty sure I threw water on the window to make it look like it was raining because it just wasn't raining so I just threw my whole water bottle on the window don't know how that turned out um, and then these are my best four. I actually really like that one just because of the white balance. Um, it looks really blue, so then I explained that. Obviously, oh yeah, I also changed the letter to a phone, so it was more new, modern technology. That was the actual photo shoot, and then I decided to Photoshop these together. So I had three ideas here of layering, colour, and um, so like changing one section of colour, and then window? I don't know, I'd already done that. Don't even know what that was. Um, and then my other idea was to have the phone, like, suck I just got I love these pictures I found them on Pinterest and I had like the phone sucking her face through um but yeah my first attempts were awful and then I actually worked out how to do it properly on Photoshop and these ones actually look really cool I did the second like Photoshop ideas so this one was layering that one turned out awful that one was not as bad um and then these ones to be fair these ones look quite cool because I, I think it just looks quite like a stained glass window quite like that one this was with the same photo shoot but i wanted to edit them manually so i had good ideas for this and then the actual collages just kind of went awful um but yeah these were my artist inspiration which i got off pinterest as always um, and then these were my I think these were like my first attempts at collages. Okay, these actually look really bad because, let me turn it this way. This first one looks really bad because it was photocopied awfully. Um, but then I photoshopped them all together. So this is basically my collage that I did manually, but then I took each section and photoshopped it so that it kind of looked like a butterfly. That wasn't my intention, but it just turned out like that. But I actually think this looks really cool just because of all the hands like going out and that was the focus because it was a mobile phone. And yeah, I actually think that turned out pretty well. Um, and then, oh, I remember doing this. I actually love this. I just changed the colors and displayed them like that. I just kind of love that page because it looks really cool. Um, and then I did a gallery plan. Let me actually turn this the right way. So this is something my teacher told me to do, which I'd never really thought about doing before. Let me zoom in a bit. This was definitely in one of my study with me's in like year 11, but I'd recommend this because apparently it gets you more marks. That's what my teacher always used to say. If you would dis if you were displaying this final outcome in a gallery, how would you do it? How would you like set out the room? So basically my idea was I think the whole thing of my idea was like about social media and how it was positive but also negative. So this side of the room was positive and it was like all the links and how you can like make friends on the internet. Um and I think I'd do this like with thread and then they were all like hanging and linked together and this side was like the negative idea of social media so I had like projections of hands and shadows reaching out towards it. So on this wall I, ha I would have like disconnected mirrors um, so that was like reflected on that side of how it was like a distorted version of social media. I got really deep in this gallery plan. Okay, this was like one of my favorite projects. This was a project called Who Am I? Um, so these are all my inspiration photos. Oh wait, no, I have a whole nother page. Okay, so these were like so many different ideas. So this was just like exploring what I could do. And then I'm pretty sure we chose which ones we wanted to do. These were the second page of artists. Basically for this shoot we had to merge two of the artists from the previous pages and make our own shoe out of it. So I decided to choose this one, Bruno Del Zov, Zov, I don't actually know how to say his name, and then this one, Danielle Buetti. Um, so basically the first one was to take loads of close-ups and then just arrange them in this way so it was all like distorted. And I actually added this myself on the artist images so I just pierced through the actual paper so that it made all these little dots and then 
you shone it through a light box so that you could see it. So this shoot I did with Martha and they were just really close up photos of like her eyes. And I did a collage of them all together. This took me ages, like this was actually really hard to do because the artist images was just so good. I just don't think I took enough actual pictures to make this look good um, but the first ones I did were just in black and white and you kind of can't see it. So on the first one I just did dots everywhere and then put it on a light box and took a picture of the actual like bits of paper and then this one I just decided to emphasise the mouth so I just did dots around the mouth that actually looks really creepy. Um, oh yeah I remember I was really sad because when you put it on the light box you could see where I'd like connected the glue like I'd stuck them together but my teacher was like it's fine just pretend like that's what you were meant to do so another tip for photography if it goes wrong just pretend that that was your intention and it'll be all good and then this page I really liked um I basically did the same thing as that so it was the same pictures but I put different coloured cellophane on top of it and then took a picture of that um and I really like this one that one's so cool just because of all the different colours and you can see the eye really well oh these are the actual original pictures so where I actually put the dots on them See, they look better when they're not through the light because you can't see the overlapping. Okay, this was so hard to do. I had such an idea, but it just didn't work. Um, so basically, I wanted to do like slow shutter speed where I had a person in it, and then in the background, it would be all like fairy lights. But because it's slow shutter speed, we moved the fairy lights and they created all these different patterns. So that was my plan, but it kind of didn't work. Again, this one I definitely did the plan after I tried the actual photo shoot because I just wanted to get it done and then I realised it didn't work. This was my photo shoot, so I tried it with like loads of different people and it just wasn't going well. Um, so basically this was the most stressful photo shoot, um, but as you can see like the actual original pictures where it's just the lights looked really cool. And then I tried it in black and white so that it kind of looked like smoke. And then that one was quite cool, he lo it looks like he's trapped. Um, also I got him to like wear a black hoodie so like the contrast between the light and the dark. Um, I think this was to show like mental health or like just stress, that sort of thing. So then I, because that idea wasn't working, I decided to just do a separate photo shoot with just the model um, on his own without the light so I could actually like make the lighting better and just so it worked. These actually looked really cool. I really like these. Um, I did these on Photoshop and basically I just cut around him and then put the, lay the two images on top of each other. If you want to pause, it shows... My writing all explains like the meaning behind the images and stuff. Okay, and then this, okay, this is a photo shoot that I did with me in it because I didn't like any of the ones that were of other people. So I took pictures of myself. This was my idea and again, I wanted to use slow shutter speed to show confusion and panic apparently. By the way, if you're wondering how is she allowed to take pictures of herself, like if, as long as you set up all the settings and everything yourself and then someone else just presses a button for you and you're in the picture, you're allowed to do that apparently. It's actually quite embarrassing that I cho chose all the ones that were of me, but I actually really like how these turned out. Um, I just think they're cool. So if you wanted how to do this, basically if you do a slow shutter speed, it you can move in the picture. So I think I did like a five second shutter speed or something. So while the picture was taking, I moved my hands onto my face so that you could see my hands, but also my face behind. And then for this one, um, I just did like different movements, so like I moved my hands above my head and then I, for this one I really like this, I moved my head to the left and to the right. This was my Photoshop edits for that photo shoot, but I chose to merge the previous photo shoot that I did like this with this light um, into this one. So I laid the lights on top and then I just like added more of me behind so that it looked like ghostly and then I did like a collage of it. This kind of looks bad but I wanted it to be like disjointed. Um, to show like confusion a bit more and then I developed it even more by adding the pictures of me with the previous photo shoot of a different model. So, okay so then I just decided to do the same thing again and cut it all up and these were just like bigger versions and I really like that one. Then these were my final final outcomes so I decided to make this collage in the same way that I did the other ones but with one of the pictures from before um, and then I merged the idea of this with the idea of like piercing the holes in it and putting it on a light box and then I took pictures of them. The pictures were really bad quality so I was really sad so I decided to just stick the actual thing in. The printer just printed it out weird because they it made it go all red and not very good colours so yeah but that was my final outcome for this book. Okay so that was my first photography book. I've got two more books that I want to film and do videos of. I hope it wasn't too boring and also I hope it gave you inspiration as I said if you're doing GCSE or A level photography. If you did enjoy please give this video a massive thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button and I will see you next week for a new video. Bye!